Hello channel friends, this is W Copeland38 and I'm doing a review of a Ken Onion uh, Kershaw Leak in black. I'm going to go over the basics of the knife with you first. The handle itself is 4 inches long closed. The blade is 3 inches long so it has an overall length of about 7 inches. It has a speed safe opening stainless steel design it's got a unique black blade and actually a unique handle that I want to go over with you which is kind of what intrigued me about this knife now as far as the specs on it let's go over that real quick before I get get it open and start showing you a few things that I did some research and found out it's got a 440A black tungsten DLC coated stainless steel blade okay we all know what stainless steel is but I had never actually heard of a DLC. And the handle is a 410 black tungsten DLC coated handle also. Now, I'm going to go over what that's all about, but let, let's get a few things going here. And I'm going to show you, of course, it's got the pocket clip. This way is for a tip down design. It's reversible, so you can carry it a tip up. Here's a lock so it doesn't accidentally open in your pocket. It's a semi-closed construction. It does have an opening here. And it's a liner lock design. Here's the uh, bolts and all that hold it together. Okay, the Kershaw emblem on it. Speed Safe USA. There you go. It does have a hole for a lanyard. That's always handy. I haven't picked one up yet. I gotta find a, a place because I want to get a special one done. So I'm gonna be on the prowl looking around for some of that. The overall weight is uh, 3.1 ounces. And of course, with the Many of the Kershaw knives with the speed safe opening. All you have to do is touch the uh, thumb stud and <clears throat> it pops open real easy. It has, <clears throat> excuse me, dual thumb studs for relatively easy opening, right or left handed. But the only negative thing on it at all is that you can't switch sides. So lefties all have to uh, decide what they want to do. Now, what I did research and find out is I'd never heard of the DLC. What the world is a DLC coating? DLC stands for diamond-like carbon. Okay, diamond-like carbon, what's that? Well, what it's used for is to reinforce the handle to make it much more rigid and much easier to hang on to because even though you can't really tell in the video this has a texture almost like neoprene it's very but, grippy but there's no dimpling it looks smooth but it's not as smooth as it appears and what the diamond like carbon does it, it makes the handle very very rigid and a lot more durable than just standard plastic handles or even regular nylon it's supposed to be able to take a little bit more punishment now it also has the DLC coating on the blade itself if you notice the blade and the handle are pretty much the same color well they both have the same coating turn that over you can see the 1660 CKT designed by Ken Onion. So what, what you wind up with is a blade that's at least as tough as the handle. So with the carbon coating on it, that helps it to resist corrosion and uh, environmental contaminants that can get on your knife, whether it's sweat or being carried in your pocket and just getting general dirty. It's designed to uh, withstand that a little bit. Well, that 
to me is important because when you're spending fifty to sixty dollars for a knife you don't want it rusting out on you right away. Granted you do have to take care of it do the natural things you would do to take care of your uh, any kind of expensive equipment. Now as far as concealed carry it's good. The, the one thing that, that I always pay attention to is how far down it's going to drop in the pocket and with the clip being here your knife's going to protrude from your pocket about this far on the average depending on how, how you've got it set or if you just let it drop in with the lanyard sticking out then it's not going to be using the uh, this clip so it's purely a uh, personal choice the, one thing I'm always impressed with with the Kershaw's is this speed safe opening it opens with authority you know it's coming out and if you were actually opening this around people it might be a little bit intimidating for uh, people that are kind of like spineless or something like that but it overall it's a very nice very well constructed knife it's got a really good feel I recommend you go down to any local store that has one of these in stock and see what I'm talking about because like I said this feels like it's really smooth but it's actually not it's quite textury it's a little and it's got a little bit of grippiness to it now one thing that you'll see is that there's no no dimpling and there's no ridges on it anywhere no no real roughness so when you hold it all you're going to do is be holding it by the handle so that's why this part being textured the way it is and, and grippy as it is is going to be pretty good for you I really recommend going down and taking a close look at one of these I think you'll feel the same way as I do is that it for the price it's a good value and it's got the safety mechanism to lock the blade in so it doesn't accidentally open in your pocket that's my video of a Kershaw Ken Onion Black Leak Knife. Highly recommend it. Go check it out for yourself. This is W. Copeland 38 signing out and you have a good day.